Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Tinkerer Mode here today for part 43 for the Singapore Grand Prix. The first time I've been to Singapore since season 1 and the first time with the new layout. But the grid then is George and Gasly on the front row, then it's Piastri and Hamilton, Ayrton Stroll, then it's the two Ferraris, Alonso and Lando Norris round out the top 10, then it's Ocon and Bottas. Sonoda and Joe, Verstappen and Albon, Fittipaldi and Sargent, Halga and De Vries, and on the final of the grid is Liam Lawson and Kevin Magnussen. We need a good result today if we want to catch Russell in the Drivers' Championship. So Mark is bang on with that one. We do need a good result here as the championship is starting to get away from us. This is our qualifying lap. Then we set two personal best sectors but it wasn't enough to get ourselves higher up than 5th so, and this track being not the easiest to overtake around it's going to be difficult today the usual one stop starting on the softs going to the mediums and it's lights out and away we go we've got a good start so it's Lewis Hamilton big gas is going backwards from the front row we try and go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton we briefly go off the track but we're ahead of the seven time world champion George Leeds from our new teammate Oscar Piastri we are now third then it's Lewis Hamilton and then I believe it is Lark Stroll Hamilton though coming back at us we can apply the car right in the middle of the track and Hamilton backs out of it doesn't want to go down the inside but towards the end of the first lap Hamilton's got an absolute rocket of an exit off the final corner and he's passed us then into turn one we're all over the back of him gonna try and get him back but we've got a good exit out to turn three briefly we're gonna go to the inside outside try anything to re-overtake the Mercedes because we really need to go forward today we need a good result after what happened in Monza we go to the inside of Hamilton that turns to the outside out with his locked up he got beached on the curb and that's allowed us to do the switcheroo and get ahead of Lewis Hamilton we ever take him to get back on the podium but we just didn't have the pace of George and Piastri ahead of us they started to get away as we push Hamilton right to the inside and he has to stay behind us this though the new part of the track and Hamilton has taken the chance at the new part of the track to overtake us and get us back on the podium we're going to try and go to the inside I think that was more of a mistake than we actually trying down the inside but Hamilton's through and now Sir Lancelot's having a pop at us but he has to back out at turn one can't we get Lewis Hamilton back again though and the answer was no Hamilton got away we just didn't have the pace on these soft tyres Strollo tries to go to our inside again we fend him off around the outside once again and there's quite the train now coming out behind us as Lark Stroll tries again and we really chop him off there and you can just see our page you can see the cap out front we're 10 seconds behind our teammate and you can just see the tyres are cooking just the temperature going through the roof with us sliding everywhere and that's my weak point here in Singapore something I need to get control of because back in season 1 it was the same issue but large stroll now must have an issue as he's overtaken by Peter Gasly we managed to start to pull away Gasly's got past and has bolted and started to get past us and now his teammate Fernando Alonso down the inside of the first corner, Alonso still has the inside line for turn three. Alonso gets the exit. Now Aston Martin needs to be clever here, but Lark Stroll isn't being clever. He clearly has an issue. Maybe he has front wing damage from the contact with possible contact with us down here at this corner here. Alonso through, Stroll those coming back at him, the two Ferraris in the background are also side by side, Stroll on the inside, Alonso on the outside, eventually Stroll backs out of it and Alonso gets ahead, Lewis Hamilton now, it was pulling away from us or he was pulling away from us, 
from us because now he's pulling off and out of the Grand Prix because that Mercedes engine has gone bang. It's his second retirement in the last three races and whilst he's pulling off and out we're being attacked by Pierre Gasly around the outside we keep Gasly behind but we're back on the podium and that's given us a lifeline surely in the track Gasly then back to the inside we squeeze him very very closely at that corner nearly going off the track but we've got a bad exit though Gasly's gone through Alonso's trying to go to outside we slam the door firmly shut there and then go off the track and Alonso is trying to get the bar inside who gets the exit it looks like we have, we have got the exit we stay ahead of the double world champion for now in his remaining races in his Formula 1 career and now it's his retirement back in Spa and now we go defensive to the inside we actually have the DRS from Gasly we run wide though, we go very wide Alonso is now down our outside we're going to lock up though and give him a little nudge and he really has to back out of that but we go very wide there again nearly into the wall two corners running there Gasly though had the pace but this was our pace you can see the gap behind the large draw has a big issue you see how far back they've fallen as now we're battling Fernando Alonso very hard here Alonso on the outside of us we show him the door he has to back out of it and at the end of lap 13 it is time for our one and only stop of the day Pierre Gasly on the medium so he's going to be longer so it um, George and Oscar as well the top two as the once it goes in we now hit our marks and go up to the mediums can we stay ahead of Alonso we do stay ahead of Alonso fairly comfortably there but now let's see what pace we've got on the mediums because towards the start of the season this car seemed to come alive on the mediums compared to the softs and kind of the same story here we really kind of got over that since Spa but it seems to have come back here in Singapore as Alonso once again goes to the inside but backs out of it as we've got some guys ahead now that we need to as we go very very deep there and Alonso now is going to see a chance to get all over the back of it you can see there's some cars in front if we need to overtake down the inside there goes Fernando Alonso we hold around the outside we stay ahead of Alonso there just this is hard but very fair racing between us Alonso once again goes to the inside at turn one but he backs out of it once again we've caught the back now of Liam Lawson who's going longer as he's uh, still ne need to pit in this race we get Lawson down the inside now we may have a chance of gaining some time on Alonso depending on how quickly he can clear Lawson and he's cleared Lawson fairly quickly there now we're on the back of Nick De Vries in the heart we're going to be looking to clear him as well very quickly down the inside into the chicane and his job done but Fernando Alonso now with forced De Vries deep but De Vries is going to box anyway so it doesn't matter this is Gasly coming out of the pits now and you can see the time is lost it's lost out to both me and Alonso we've both gone free with miles up the road and he's now lost out to Verstappen so lap 21 now and Alonso on the inside of us once again just copy and paste of this entire race pretty much but we stay ahead of Alonso once again and now Alonso handing us down through the DRS sign we force him very much to the inside and we stay ahead of him Max Verstappen now he's starting to catch up from the back and we run wide at the final corner Alonso is finally free for once but we keep it pinned round the outside at time one and somehow keep the place there Alonso once again trying this time it's guys we're gonna try and cut him back we're gonna go deep we're gonna go all the way around the outside of turn three that is a great move if i do say so myself 
is allowing Verstappen to close in. But look at the gap now between us and our teammates. With 26 seconds behind us, but still battling alongside. Round the outside we go. Max now is fairly in, in on the act. So is Gasly. Going on to the final lap though. George Russell is winning once again. He wins in Singapore. Oscar Piastri doing what I expect a teammate to do. His best result since he joined the team. P2 for him and us some 30 seconds behind our teammates. We're going to get the final step on the podium. We pulled away from Alonso in the end, but it's P3 for us. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Quite simply, a driver is nothing without the team behind them. So, a deserved winner, but we do have to give a shout out to the team in the pit lane and back at the factory. Very much a collaborative process. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. That's been your Singapore Grand Prix then, won by George Russell, Piastri P2, we are P3, which is still a good result, also very embarrassing at the same time, 46 seconds off the lead and 30 seconds off our teammates, though it's a P3, that's pretty embarrassing on our part, we just did not have the pace today and that gap does very much show you, in the early stages keeping those behind ultimately, and Hamilton's DNF, as we can see here, one and only DNF of the day was Lewis Hamilton and then also Lawson and DeFries, the two cars who were lapped by George Russell as well in terms of the championship and it's a very 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 big gap for us to overhaul now 52 points and not that many races to go we've still got two sprint races but how strong George has been and how inconsistent we've been this season we really need to find some form in these last couple of races we need something to happen to George again like he did in Spa when he retired Monza I said it at the end of the last video I think could have very much been the turning point and the point of no return and it very much looks like it could have with that big gap in the championship now the constructors then we have gained a small amount on mercedes with our double podium and only one mercedes finishing the race a mercedes winning means it wasn't that big of a dent in their championship lead 101 points now is it's still possible to win the constructors but i think highly unlikely but now we've got a consistent teammate by the looks of things in piastri it may be possible because michael schumacher was all over the place in the open half of the season but i hope you enjoyed this video we go to qatar next our second sprint weekend of the season and i'll see you then goodbye